Hey, you know what? We did a driver pound off a couple years ago between the Ready, the Rhino, and at that time, the Titan driver. And now there's a new player on the block and they asked us if we would actually test their driver against the others. We figured there was no sense in bringing the Titan back because we already know that it didn't perform as well as the Ready and the Rhino. So we're gonna put it up against the US Hammer and see how it does. Since you guys have followed us in Florida, you know that this is our go-to driver. This is the driver we have on all our trucks and this is the Rhino Multipro XA. This here is the Ready DOT package, which means it comes with the extended handles and some other tooling. And then also new to the family of driver lineups here is the US Hammer. Now this is manufactured in California, very similar, but right away you'll notice there's some certain differences between this one and the others. So the throttle is on the handle here. So you spin the throttle on the handle instead of pulling a trigger. One of the benefits of doing that is, is that we can add longer handles to this and get it to the ground easier when we're on the taller post. We can also add longer four foot handles to the Rhino, but it takes about 30 minutes to change those handles out. So it's not something we want to do a lot. Changing the handles out on this is as easy as changing a pin out. So that's a clear advantage right out of the gate, but we don't know if this thing can hit harder. So we've already prepared three posts right here and we're gonna drive all these down to three feet and we'll see how it goes. If we can keep going, we'll keep going. But the goal is to stop at three feet. Because we did this in the exact same spot that we did that other stuff, so underneath here, about two feet, we're gonna run into a layer of just river cobble rock. Nasty rock, so it's anybody's guess as to how these are gonna perform. And you guys ready? Let's I'm do ready. It. Let's stop talking and do this. Game on. No, that one's yours. I want to try the new one. No, I want the That's new one. That's too bad. I want the new one. Okay. This is what it's like working with your family every day. You can't see. Okay, this is, don't, shh, don't tell them. This is going to be the short one. No peek, no peeky. Okay, who gets to go first? Who gets to choose? Is it longest straw or shortest straw? Longest wins. The way it's always been, man. Oh, okay. Oh, I hate this game. <laughs> this is so, so stupid. Let's be honest, they're all great drivers. We're just all really excited to test the new equipment because this thing hasn't even been fired up yet. So we're just, we're anxious to see what it does. To be totally transparent, US Hammer sent us this driver and asked us to test it. So this video is 100% sponsored by US Hammer. We always encourage people to support the sponsors of these videos because that's what helps us keep this great content coming to you. However, we are not cheating. They didn't ask us to do anything special for them. They just said, hey, give us a good heads up comparison and show how our drivers compare with others. And that's what we're gonna bring to you today. Drivers! Start your engine! Yes! Start your engines. All right. What if I pick that one? Oh, I don't know. Which one do you? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Choose. Choose. All right, I think we got this. It's got a really nice Honda four-stroke engine just like all of them have. If you aren't running a Honda, are you really serious about driving? So just like the previous video, we are not gonna worry about level at all. We're just gonna drive them. And the first one down is the winner. You ready to go? I'm ready. One, two, three, go. So as you can see, this ground is incredibly dry at the moment. And like I said, down there, about two feet down, there's a layer of rock. Throughout the competition, I feel like the hammer was just slightly ahead of the Rhino, maybe just slightly. And the ready driver has really struggled to keep up, even to get to two feet. So one of the things I notice is, is that it's really nice. I can pull down really hard. Um, these are coming loose. Probably want to Loctite those. I have to pull down really hard. And the more I can pull down, the more, the harder it hits. It's a slower hit rather than being a very rapid hit like the ready driver and the rhino driver. But pulling down on that really stresses me out. Like it's just a lot, it takes a lot of grip strength and my hands, I can feel my hands being tired. I, I was ready to be done. And we've got it probably four inches from being three feet in the ground. But yeah, it's, this is hard ground right now. If it was a lot wetter, I think we'd have a lot easier time. How do you feel about this, Dan? I feel like the rhino and the US hammer were pretty well very, neck and neck. 
very neck and neck. This one actually got the post deeper. There again, I think the twisting action of the, ham the handle is both a positive and a negative because I have to keep grabbing onto that and I have to keep, my, keep it twisted. So just like with everything, I think that there's pros and cons to everything that you do. But all in all, this performed very well. It was a slow, hard hitting hit. Should we play a little switch switcheroo? All right, so what we're gonna do now is just to kind of further test this. I'm gonna move this driver to Dan's post and Dan's gonna go to the driven the least and we're gonna see if we can get him down any further and how long that takes, so. I got a little bit out I of it. I saw yours go a little bit. I don't know if this one went down at all, but I don't think if I got anything, I didn't get much. The reason I wanted to do that is because if we did land squarely on a big rock, that may be the reason that one of these posts went down. So all in all, I'm going to say with this particular test, this is a very even match. Now it'll be interesting to see what happens because the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drive a Postmaster post and we're gonna see how that goes. As it sits right now, I would have to say that the Rhino and the US hammer are very evenly matched. I would say that you're 100% right. Do you concur? I concur. Okay, thank you for concurring. You're welcome. Why didn't I concur? Oh, did you want to concur as well? Yeah, I wanted to concur. Okay. Next! So one of the things everybody always asks us is if they can use one of the adapters from one manufacturer on a different driver, and the answer is absolutely not. It will not work. Don't do it, don't hope it'll work, just get the right manufacturer's adapters. Each driver is manufactured and machined a little bit different. The adapters are completely different. So if you have a driver, you need to use the adapters for each type of post you wanna drive that are made specifically for that manufacturer's driver. So we're getting set up to do the Postmaster post and each one of those has a special adapter. The Ready driver already had it on here and you'll see that the Rhino driver also has it on there. And that's for a very simple reason. Again, changing out adapters takes a little bit of time. Ain't nobody got time for that. So because we can drive two and three eighths pipe, we can drive inch and seven eighths pipe and we can drive Postmasters all with the channel post adapter on the Rhino driver. We just leave it on there all the time. Same thing with the ready driver. I can drive all three of those posts and as long as I don't mind a little wobbling and stuff and I don't want to change out adapters, I can leave that one on there and still drive two and three eighths, inch and seven eighths, inch and five eighths, and the Postmasters. This driver I imagine is very much the same. We put the adapter in there. We're going to pop that out because it pops out so easy. Pa pow Now we're ready to drive the channel post or the Postmasters. Show sure drivers! Ready? I'm ready. I think it gets real hard down there. Yeah. Give it another week when they start irrigating and we'll get it the other foot and a half. That was a pretty even match, I gotta say. Even the Ready did a little bit better on that one than it did on the others. In fact, it drove a little bit further in the same time, probably an inch, I'm gonna guess. Okay. Two and a half. Just shy of two and a half. Ooh, 32 inches, almost 32 inches. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I beat you. Yeah, by just a little bit and that one was behind. So that's how hard this stuff is, is you have to decide what's important to you. Every driver here really performed very similarly, I think respectably. So it's about you trying to determine what best suits your needs. Some advantages to the US Hammer would be the fact that they don't have the grease issues that the other two drivers do. That's one of the biggest complaints we get is I have to change out my grease and I get grease leaking. The US Hammer is not gonna have that because it's a different mechanism. The US Hammer has the twist handles for the throttle. That's both a plus and a negative. As I saw, it really fatigued my hands 
twisting and pulling. Really fatigued both my hands. In fact, you saw me stop several times to readjust my grip because I just couldn't hold on any longer. But all these drivers come with about the same type of adapters. I think the ready driver can get on a little bit larger post. So if you're looking to drive two and seven eighths, you can do that with that. We can't do that with the Rhino because it just doesn't have the anvil and the throat space to be able to fit that. I think the hammer can do some larger posts as well. The throttle being lower is an advantage. On these, once you get stuck on a post and you can't get it down, and then if I want to shut it down, although I can lift it off there and turn it off. So it just kind of depends on what's going on. I don't know if these are stuck. Nope, mine's not. But you can see, you can see we schmooshered it. It was hitting hard. There is some nasty hard stuff under here. In case you don't remember, just across the road is where we did our digging in rock video, which you can watch right here if you want to learn how to dig in rocky soil conditions. We did that just across the road, probably 100 yards away from where we're at now. So the top layer looks really nice, but underneath here is just nothing but river cobble. That one's stuck on there, so that's always fun. It's only slightly stuck, we'll get it off. So the final takeaway for this whole thing is, is can you go wrong with any one of these drivers? Absolutely not. They're all very comparably priced. Maybe one's just a touch cheaper than the other. We believe in the three of them enough that we offer all three. You can make your own informed decisions from the videos that we put out on which one might be best for you. Extended handles, twist throttle, a little bit lighter duty. I think this one's a little cheaper. You can see that the bars are quite a bit smaller and lighter duty. Um, but that also makes it lighter when you're trying to lift it. And it still performed very well. This one's a little heavier duty and has got a big, nice throat here, nice heavy anvil, but there are some takeaways that maybe don't make that an advantage. The hammer has tons and tons of adapters. The Rhino has tons of adapters available for it. Most of those are available on our website. If there's not an adapter that you see for this, just pick one out, tell us what you need. They'll make it and we'll send it out with your driver. The Ready is not quite as adaptable. They have driver adapters primarily based around round posts and the uh, uh, channel posts, but you can fit a lot of square posts inside the round post adapters and still drive it. So that's my takeaway. It's on you now to decide which one works best for you, but you can get all this stuff at our store, link in the description down below. And as always, I'm Mark with SWI in Wyoming. I'm Dan with SWI in Wyoming. I'm Alan with SWI Wyoming. And we hope you have a good dang day. <laughs>